one stop, a family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. Is it Alex? <laughs> okay. Uh, seriously, Alex, will you talk a little bit about the offensive line? I noticed that uh, uh, McAuliffe was not in there. That, led to some maneuvering there. How would you analyze how they line played with those changes? Uh, I think it was a good it was a good fit. Um I don't think we missed too many beats out there. Um center is a tough position to play with all the all the calls you have to make and and uh, be aware of everything, but I think Ryan did a good job. Um, just like last year, we had we have seven offensive linemen that can play. Five start but seven can play. I mean so we have guys that can get it done and come in and it's shown all year when I've been out. Uh, Dietz has been out, and, and now Tim was out. But um, Tim will be ready to go this week and ready to compete. And I think it, I would guess, you tell me if I'm wrong, it'd have to be comforting that when you put Ben in there, that's not a guy making his first ever start or his first ever appearance. Right, absolutely. He, he played, uh, what, 14 games last year? Yeah, started all 14 last year. So we have full confidence in him. We have full confidence in JJ. We have full confidence in Ryan. I mean, Ryan anywhere. I mean, Ryan's played five positions here already this year. So uh, actually, I don't think he took a snap at left tackle yet, but he can do it. He can. He's the Swiss Army knife for this uh, offensive line. Have you had much of a chance to look at Western? Yeah, I watch. Uh, I haven't been in here to watch the film, but I watched last night. I watched that game for a little while, and then um, I watched last week when they played Eastern. Hey. Will you talk? I want you to talk a little bit about that, but first, would you talk a little bit about last year's game? Because that was one of the first games where a defense really slowed this offense down. Certainly the first Mac game where it happened. Just what, what do you remember from that game last year? You know, I don't remember much from it, but I do remember um, we just couldn't, we couldn't move the ball on them. Um, we, we went down that first series and, and we scored, and I think we kind of you know, took our foot off the gas a little bit, and um, you can't have that. This is a very important game. Do you, as a, and you as a group here, not you specifically, do you guys as a group carry some of that from last year saying, hey, we've got to, you know, we can't take our foot off the brake, we've got to take them seriously, you know, all that stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have to take them serious. They're, they're a really good football team. Um, I don't like to carry a lot from last year into this year because I think we're a completely different team, personally. Um, we're, we're finally married to the staff and, it, and it's been showing all year. You know, so um, it's just a new team, and I don't think that we, we ever take our foot off the gas anymore. What a great phrase, married to the staff. What do you mean when you say that? Um, we're one now, you know. They're, they're Falcons, we're Falcons. I think last year it took a little bit to, uh, to get that, and I think it started with leadership. Um, and this year our leadership is tremendous throughout, throughout the entire team on all units. So we're just, we're all one now. What's, what would be the anniversary date of this marriage? When, when, when did you think that, or when did you notice something different? Uh, I think it, it changed during our, um, our little conditioning in the winter. I think that's when it was like, all right, this is, this is we're, we're finally together now. We're eye to eye. Did you notice that change more players relating to coaches, coaches relating to players, or was it just the whole group noting, hey, something's changed here. I think it was both. I think um, players, the coaches became uh, more with us and we became more with them. Right. Will you talk, you heard me ask whatever his name was in front of you about the East versus West stuff. I mean, obviously you guys struggled against the West last year. Does that carry over? Do you think much about that? What? How do you stand on that? Yeah, I think um, I think it's very important to beat the West. Um, you only get so many opportunities to to show the West what the East can do. Um, it, it's very important. That's all I can say about it. Um, it does leave a little taste in your mouth, you know, to know that we haven't had success in my years here. We haven't had that much success um, versus them, but these are very important. When, when you discuss, you know, obviously one of the people. And, excuse me. And you watched the game last night. When you watched that game last night, is it easier to kind of sit on your couch and watch the game last night, or you know, watch 
Western in the coming days. And I know the film is, or the video is easier to, but it's more, uh, it's edited toward what you need to watch, but is there a, a comfort level when it comes to watching video versus, you know, just kind of telling the whole yeah, I mean, you don't really get a you don't get a great understanding. I I feel like personally, when you watch it at home, because you can't rewind, you, you don't get like the end zone view and all that. So I I love coming up here watching film over uh, watching it at home definitely. You don't have DVR, you can't rewind it. No, <laughs> no, we got that Time Warner. <laughs> I guess I'll ask the same question. Uh, you guys have the ability to clinch the East. Um, is the mindset different going into this game? You know, with the the goal that you had all season, kind of like right there, right in front of you. No, I mean we we never talked about clinching the East um, that much because that's that's the expectation now. You know that's what we've set the past couple of years. Um, I think when it, beating teams in the West is is a big big uh, jump for us that we want to um, succeed in, and then uh, you know we just got to keep going one game at a time. You talked about struggling moving the ball last year against this team, Alex, here at the, at the Doy. You guys haven't had any struggles at all moving the ball against pretty much anybody this year. Is there, uh, is there confidence, I guess, on, uh, I don't know if that's the right question, not on the offensive side that you guys can pretty much move the ball against anybody? Absolutely, and I think that just comes with the preparation we have uh, every day out on the practice field. And, you know, we, that's what we practice. We practice moving the ball, and, and then when game day comes up, it's just – it's just a routine for us, you know. That's how we feel. When you have these midweek games, and you're at the hotel uh, two days ago for the Ohio game all day, right? Uh, no, we came back because you have to go to class if, uh, up to noon. Okay. So I guess, um, is it easier or do you embrace the road aspect of the midweek game because you don't have the class aspect that you have to worry about when you get I'm just saying, like, from the routine, like, hey, you're at the hotel, you know, on the road, you know, like, sure you might, you know, open the book in the, in the hotel room or whatever the case may be, versus have to come back here and physically go into class. Right. Right. Um, I think, I think you're, you're always keyed in. It's always going to be in your mind, whether you have class or, or whether you're, uh, you know, even working people, like, it's going to be in your mind no matter what, because it's an important part of your day. But, um, I don't think sitting at the hotel makes any any difference from being back here. Uh, we're we're going to be together, so uh, we we're going to be in, in our in our uh, playbooks. We're going to be just focused on the game.